Hey guys, today I wanted to talk about the water fast that I attempted to do. Now I say attempted, I don't want this video to be misleading in any way by the title. I did try a seven day water fast. I'm gonna let you know right now, I did not complete a seven day water fast. So let me tell you why. First of all, I tried the water fast because in doing my research about it and it's sort of healing benefits of fasting, the things that it could cure or at least help and mention eczema and I have moderate to severe eczema. Honestly, I do not think that I did the fast long enough for it to make an effect at all on my skin, which is a bummer, but uh, <laughs> oh well. So I wanted to do the fast for that reason. I did take like a before and after a little video of my body just to see the changes that it made. I do want to mention that this is not about weight loss. This is not a weight loss solution by any means. Um, everything that you lose during a fast is temporary. It is majority water weight and it will come right back. So it's not a weight loss tactic at all. Definitely not a healthy one. So that's not what this is about whatsoever. I will say that personally I have lost 90 pounds. So if you look at the pictures of my body, you know, it's not perfect. It's definitely come a long way. I definitely have a long ways to go. It's not about like any improvement in like physique or something. It's just about the stark difference between uh, myself on the first day and myself just a couple of days later not eating. I compiled a little diary like while I was fasting so I could like remember my thoughts and be able to like articulate it nicely in a video. So, this was the first day. <clears throat> Felt mostly okay, a little tired, a little shaky. Went to bed early, laid around, and tried to get work done. One hour outdoor meditation went very well, and I took a bath. I'm proud of myself, and I'm super hungry. Woke up at 2.30ish, and I had a hard time going back to sleep. Extremely dry mouth. Still not back to sleep at 6, and no matter how much I drink, my mouth is still dry. Finally asleep at 6 to 6.30 and back up at 8. So that was the full like first 24 hours or so. I found uh, during my research that you can get a good amount of energy from the sun and that's what they recommend when you're just drinking water. So I did try to go outside and meditate for an hour every day. I tried to. And the first day it went awesome. And it was like not a whole lot different than the regular start to my mornings. I already intermittent fast. So I don't eat until a little bit into the afternoon. So as far as my body was concerned, it was business as usual. I just went out to meditate and it was very nice. Day two, finding it kind of hard to stay standing, feel drained and weak. All the energy I can get is from sleep and the sun. I need to sleep better. My heartbeat seems loud and slow, 60 beats per minute. By the way, it's usually 80, resting. Hard to even hold and use my phone. Ate some ice and sat outside, did a little meditation, jolted out of my deep calm mental state for some reason, but it was still a good pick-me-up. Went bed at 12 and up at 6 from animal sounds. So I did not wake up from whatever kept me up the night before, but I still didn't get a lot of sleep. And sleep to me is extremely important. I have had insomnia for, gosh, 11 years or so, pretty severely. I have a really hard time sleeping and the fact that I could only get my energy from sleep and then a little bit of sunlight to sort of top it off or give me a little boost, like it was just not great at all that I could not sleep. Day three, feel pretty normal, just a little tired and woozy. I clean my room in slow motion and had to take lots of breaks. I'm blasting through water now. No meditation, so I didn't get out to go do that that day. I have an odd feeling of too much and not enough water making me feel kind of queasy. I'm seeing no improvement in my acne or eczema and my knees and thighs feel very weak. I have no energy to work on my illustrations or my cosplay work and I'm really missing movement and my hands are a little bit shaky. Um, so that was a big deal to me, not being able to do my work. So I work from home anyways. I do freelance illustration. I make custom Disney Minnie Mouse ears. I'm working on a couple books at the moment and I record videos for various YouTube channels and Instagram pages. So I couldn't do any of it, even if it wasn't like 
physically strenuous, even if it just required me taking my lights out, taking out my camera, I just could not do it. I was having a hard time holding anything. I was just so incredibly drained. I don't feel hungry anymore, but my inability to move fast, exercise, work on my various artistic projects, or help around the house makes me feel like my life is passing me by. I think it's easier than I thought it would be, and I have no doubt I could do all seven days, but I've chosen to stop. Tomorrow I begin the refeed. Slept at 11, hard time falling asleep, up at 4, not a fan. My limbs keep falling asleep. Yeah, that was something kind of odd that was happening towards the end there. Is like, even if I wasn't like pinching my arm or stretching blood flow at all, it, it would just fall asleep, which I thought was super freaky. And it was happening to like all my body parts. So it does kind of sound dramatic when I was saying my life was passing me by, but in that moment I really felt it. Like, I've had lots of surgeries in my life and they're always followed by like recovery and bed rest where I'm like left alone in my room to sit and just be in my own mind and I hate that. I hate that. <laughs> um, I'm not very good company for myself. I struggle with anxiety and depression and a, I thought the fast would also help with that because apparently it can like boost your mental state and clarity and I don't know, you can look it up, but um, it didn't. And I don't know if that was just because I'm a special case or what. So I followed the refeeding protocol from the True North Health Center. So the first day was just fruit and veggie juice. So on that day, I said my ribs and stomach are sore to the touch. I black out a little bit when I stand up. So that was also kind of rough. <laughs> I would just be like laying down and I wouldn't even be standing up too fast or something. But as soon as I stood up, I would like the black would creep in um, in the corner of my vision. I have to sit right back down or otherwise I would have fainted. And then the second day of the refeeding process is all raw fruits and vegetables. And that went awesome. And by that time I felt pretty much the same as I normally do. And then the day after that, it was cooked fruits and veggies, and then for like a week or so after, it was just very simple foods. So very low fat, um, cooked fruits and veggies, but introducing things like oats and quinoa and rice and very simple cooked carbohydrates like that. Now, just for a little bit of like reflection about the whole thing, I don't know if I would do it again. I would definitely have to be in a different place in my life, you know what I mean? Like, I would have to have absolutely nothing to do for a whole week. I would also have to be comfortable with not doing anything because I don't like not being productive. My before and afters, so the first one is on the very first day that I started drinking water and stopped eating food, so that was right in the morning. And then the last one was on the first day where I started juicing. You can see there is a pretty significant difference for being technically like only three days. Basically, all in all, the water fast was a pretty enlightening experience. Like I know what my body can handle after a certain amount of time. I wasn't even hungry anymore. I was just totally like drained energy wise and I cared more about my mental well-being than whatever temporary effects it may have had on my eczema if I had gone the full seven days. Anyway, that was my experience with water fasting. Please let me know if you have any questions down below. I will try my best to answer them. Check the links in the description to become a patron and follow me on Instagram. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.